Hello everyone. In this presentation today I would like to present a new startup implemented as information system. The full name of the subject area for the creation of the information system is System of the Remote Monitoring of Climatic Conditions at Industrial Facilities. Climate Control System is system consisting of air conditioning, heating system, filtration system, and special sensors located in different places, as well as power control unit. Depending on the facility's needs, climate scenarios or remotely controlled devices are customizable at any time. The aim of the project is to develop a transparent system for analysis, data collection and processing at various enterprises. To achieve this goal, the main technologies related to the automation of the climate control system, such as VEC, various functions of a smart home, etc. were analyzed. In addition to this, the process of remote climate control at industrial sites was considered to find possible methods that will help automate the processes of production and tracking of resources at industrial sites. All these features will help solve a number of existing problems. Relevance of the project at industrial sites, the operation of many units is checked manually. The installation of the design system can simplify this process. Also, this system will allow employees to receive documentation with key information highlighted, which will improve the management of various resources and processes of the enterprise. The practical significance of the obtained results is the creation of a system that will simplify and improve the process of resource management and climate control in enterprises. The first step of doing research in subjects area was an analysis of possible effects of the system. It allows to estimate its possible impact and positive effects in case of successful implementation. In this case, the project has a beneficial effect on the current situation. Next step was comparing existing systems with the one in development. After analyzing available technologies, it is obvious that in the design system there are certain features that distinguish it from other available ones, thus ensuring its relevance and usefulness. In the process of development, the activity diagram was developed on an example of work of the design system in general. The user comes into direct contact with the system only when the system determines that the data from a particular module does not meet the standards, notifies the employee responsible for this module, and only then the user begins to search for the problem. When the problem is resolved, the user stops interacting with the system. Additionally, the user can send reports on the existing problem or, for example, annual report. The NLP module processes this textual information, and as a result produces abbreviated highlights the main information. If necessary, processes numerical data to predict parameters, classifies reports. As for the sequence diagram, taking into account all the features of the design system, parallelism, continuous data verification, this diagram was developed for the start of the system in the main successful scenario. After creating diagrams, possible and architecture of the system were analyzed. It is clear that creating web servers for initial implementation is the best option, which means that the system will be hosted on the server and itself is a web application, which makes it independent of the operating system, does not require significant hardware resources and program installation on the device. The only necessary option for working with the application is an internet connection. The main task of the NLP module in the system is pre-processing of text, input data or reports or documentations made by employees of the enterprise, creating a shortened version, summarization, which will allow other employees to process existing documentation, draw conclusions and forecasts. There are several options for such word processing. In this project, the possible methods, general principles and tools for such a task are described. There are two approaches, topic representation and indicator representation. The first approach includes the following techniques, frequency analysis, semantic analysis, thematic Bayesian models, choosing of thematic words. The second approach describes the sentence as a list of certain features, indicators of importance of such parameters as sentence length, presence use of phrases, etc. One of the methods that I going to be implemented is 5. 
This method is often used to determine the weight of a word in documents, and respectively the weight of a sentence. This method allows you to identify the most important, with less weight, words. The second method includes using sentence weights based on word frequencies. The page consists of five containers created using Flexbox, which will further simplify the addition and correction of the locations of containers on the main page. The developed program consists of the following functions. The user can fill in the form, enter the login and password, meaning the database will be filled in and the user will be in the system in the future. The user can get information from the database on certain modules. Control of environmental parameters shows table with values of temperature, humidity and smoke level. Control and protection of power supply module will display a table with data on current, power and voltage values. Access module will show a table with data on the user's login and password. There was also a test for the correct operation of the NLP module using five on the example of an excerpt from the chapter of the text. Two methods of the algorithm were tested, one of which was TF5, and the other calculated the average weight of sentences by word frequency. One of the problems of using the second algorithm was that long sentences took more importance over shorter ones, even if they carried less information for the reader. This was also the case with fiction text where the description of some things carried little sense, but included many words. The second problem was the selection of words roots. Most technologies that offer such a solution simply shorten the word to the root, stem, but this is solved by lemmatization using appropriate types part of speech to identify the correct root. As can be seen from the results, the algorithm that calculates the frequency of words and determines the weight and, accordingly, the importance of the sentence proved to be better in the case of a scientific text. Although the results for the fiction are about the same. Since the design system will mostly work with reports, which include various specific terms, numerical data, certain dependencies, it can be concluded that the best method for further processing of documentation will be using machine learning neural network which will be trained on previous reports on the structure of the documentation and what to consider the main information. To develop the program, an architectural and software solution were selected, a basic set of system processes were implemented and the testing was conducted. The basic working modules of the program and the basic user interface have been developed. An additional feature that distinguishes this project from other existing systems are NLP, language recognition, methods. The main task of this module is processing of data and creating a summarized version of the documentation, which will help employees to speed up and simplify their work. To sum up, using developed system will allow many companies to automate their data collection and analysis processes, carry out constant monitoring of data, Notify employees process information and present it in a convenient way. Successful implementation of the project will increase the efficiency of the work overall. Improving the accuracy of the module with NLP will improve the work with documentation and reports of the enterprise. That's all about the presentation. Thank you for your attention.